Okay guys, we just had the the uh, power watchdog tripped off and it's got a code here E3 which is overcurrent that's happened once before <clears throat> we had a combination of the microwave oven which is like 1500 watts the coffee maker which is like 800 plus I forgot I turned on the electric water heater so that is like I think 1500 watts so all together, plus I got a light cut, couple of little things on, oh. and I turn the TV on, and probably the refrigerator is running at the same time. So all that trip the uh, power watchdog, and what it does is it, it in about 30, 90 seconds it'll reset, or you can go on the app, and you can just hit reset. It'll it'll give you a notification if you have your Bluetooth on. And it'll tell you what the problem was, went over current or whatever happened. But it waits about 90 seconds and it checks for over current situation still again, or whatever the problem was. And then it'll restart. It'll redo the power. Put it all back on. I'm hoping it will any second now. Should. Molly, Molly the border collie. Let's see. Any second now. Should come out. This is a good book. If you, if you want to find some camping that's kind of inexpensive, the Corps of Engineers camping spots. That's a good book. Hope you find some low price camping. But here in Tennessee it's 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 fairly inexpensive. I think we're staying at Nathan Bedford Forest uh, State Park and I think it was twenty four dollars a night. But you can't beat that. Okay. If you're a Tennessee resident you get a discount. Yeah, with Tennessee resident you also get discount. It's gonna take a little longer than I thought.